Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on the Ordinary Boy Boxing Channel. Now we are coming to the end of 2022, um, so in this special video, because we're at the end of the year, um, I'm going to be doing my top 5 fighters of 2022. I also did a poll on the channel um, a little while ago to see who your favourite fighters were. Um, I picked a list of the five fighters that I think are worthy of the best fighter of 2022. Um, obviously I did the poll, you guys voted and we'll get to that a little later in the video. But first, it's going to be my personal uh, top five fighters of 2022 and my reasons why. So, uh, coming in at number five on the list of best boxers of 2022 is Inoue. Um, so Inoue, um, this year, um, he started the year by beating Nanito Donaire, TKO in round two. He then, uh, very recently, beat Paul Butler uh, by KO in round 11. So that takes him to 24-0 with 21 KOs. Um, there's no doubt that if I'd done this list, um, obviously this is the first year I'm doing this list, if I'd done this list in uh, previous years, Inoue would have been on that list as well, so he continues uh, to be in the top five for me. Um, Inoue is a class fighter, uh, there's no doubt about it. He doesn't rank higher for me, um, He pretty much because of the competition he's for. Now, Nanita Donaire, fantastic fighter, all credit where credit's due, uh, but his recent outing against Paul Butler, you know, I I didn't really, no one thought Paul Butler had a hope in hell, let's be honest, of beating Inoue, um, so I don't think it does anything to push him above number five for me out of the five fighters I've picked, um, but who knows, we'll see who he goes on to fight next year. So going on to number four is uh, Devin Haney. Now, Devin Haney uh, this year has fought the same man twice in uh, George Cambosis Jr. Beat him both times by unanimous decision. Um, both really impressive performances from Devin Haney. Uh, Devin Haney, for me, really is one to watch for the future. Although he already is world champion, um, I think this may just be the start of where he'll end up. Um, I really do rate Devin Haney as a fighter. Um, he makes this top five list because not only did he beat George Cambosis twice, but I felt like he won both relatively easy. Um, the young age he's at, his undefeated record, and obviously, as I said, the way he looked in those fights, to me, puts him in the top five of 2022. Um, I'm really interested to see where he'll go next. Um, obviously, they're talking about him against Lomachenko. If he was to fight him next year and beat him, he could well make the top five again for 2023. Um, he doesn't rank higher just because he has fought the same man twice. Um, through no fault of his own, it was mandated. But um, it just means that he stays at number four on my top five list. So Devin Haney ends 2022 with a record of 29-0 with 15 KOs. In at number three on my top five fighters of 2022 is Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury this year um, fought Dillian White, who he won, who he beat, sorry, by TKO in round six. He then went on to fight Derek Chisora um, quite recently, who he TKO'd in round ten, which takes Fury to 33 and 0 with 24 KOs. He um, keeps his undefeated streak. Um, he's undefeated record, he is a WBC champion still, and the lineal champion. Um, Tyson Fury is number three for me. Um, because he's fought twice, um, I felt like Dillian White, you know, after, after the fight had happened, a lot of people were kind of slagging the opposition being Dillian White. Firstly, Dillian White was mandatory, and secondly, you know, Dillian White had been waiting for that chance for a, quite a while, and before that fight, and Dillian White didn't show a lot in that fight, but leading up to that fight, people were really singing, including me, singing Dillian White's praises. So I think the fact that Tyson Fury beat him should be applauded. Um, so that was a good win, and he fought twice, and he fought Chisora. Now this is where, this is why he's only at number three for me. Um, he doesn't go higher, because really, White and Chisora... Put him in the top five, especially with the record he's got and the way he looked in both fights. But Chisora really isn't enough of a name for me to really 
elevate him any more than he is. You know, Chisora was always going to be one-sided. He's already beat him twice and now three times. This That fight does nothing to enhance his 2022 for me, to rank him higher than being number three. So, um, yeah, Tyson Fury is number three on the top five boxers of 2022 for me. So now we go into the top two. So in at number two is Alexander Usyk. Um, now Usyk has only fought once this year. He beat Joshua in a rematch by split decision. The, fir the first fight with Joshua was actually last uh, the year before, so it doesn't count in this year. Um, now it was a tough one between Fury and Usyk because obviously Fury's fought twice and Usyk's only fought once and it was a man he's already beaten. But I looked at it and I thought... White plus Chisora or Joshua? Who's better? And actually, I'd probably say Joshua. Um, <laughs> to be honest, if I'm comparing White plus Chisora against Anthony Joshua, I'd say Anthony Joshua is still the better win. Also, taking into account um, the year Usyk's had, obviously, with the troubles in Ukraine to come back, he actually went and fought for his country to come back and fight and beat Joshua was impressive as well. Um, he's only 20 and 0. Um, he now holds, he was undisputed cruiserweight champion. He now holds a proportion of the heavyweight championships. Uh, 20 and 0 with 13 KOs is how he ends his 2022 with an undisputed fight with Tyson Fury, quite likely on the horizon for 2023. Um, so yeah, really, even though he's just had one fight, I was really impressed with, considering everything Usyk's gone through, I was really impressed with his year. So I pick uh, Usyk to be number two on my top five boxers of 2022 list. And in at number one is someone who, if you'd have asked me at the beginning of 2022 who I thought number one would be, this man would not have even registered on my top ten, but he's number one. And that's Dimitri Bivol. Uh, Dimitri Bivol had the upset of the year when he beat Canelo Alvarez by unanimous decision. He then went on recently to beat unbeaten Gilberto Ramirez again by unanimous decision. Takes Bivol to 21-0 in 2022 with 11 KOs. There's no doubt to me, Dimitri Bivol deserves number one spot. Um, you know, he he had the upset of the year when he beat Canelo Alvarez. And I know a lot of people in the aftermath of that fight said, oh, I, I was picking Dimitri Bivol, or Canelo was always gonna lose, or Canelo was overrated, or Dimitri Bivol was underrated. I didn't see anyone picking Dimitri Bivol to beat Canelo Alvarez, and I don't care what weight it was at. Um, Canelo Alvarez has tore through the weights, and Dimitri Bivol stopped him. Um, he then went on, that was enough really, to be recognised as on this top five list, but to then go and fight Gilberto Ramirez, who again, people said in the aftermath, well, he was a, he was a hype job, he was overrated. Look, look at his record going in, undefeated, um, a big, big man, um, someone who Bivol didn't need to fight particularly, but he did, he beat him and he looked good doing it. Um, so yeah, for me, uh, Dimitri Bivol um, is deserving of my number one spot, the number one fighter for me of 2022, Dimitri Bivol. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I did... Um, I did put a poll out onto my YouTube channel to see who you guys' top five fighters of 2022 was. It is different from mine, so let's have a quick look at what you all chose um, on my YouTube. So, the public choice for boxer of 2022. So in at number five is Inoue, uh, the same as me. Then in at number four and third, joint fourth and third place, is Devin Aini and Dimitri Bivol. Um, so obviously, you'll put Bivol quite a lot lower than I am. Um, and then the top two, in at number two, was Tyson Fury. And in at number one was Alexander Usyk. So for you guys, Alexander Usyk is your top fighter of 2022. Um, as I said, those to me were the top five fighters I felt of this year. Um, do let me know in the comments below if you think I have that order wrong, you may do. Obviously the poll said something different. Or is there any fighters that you felt like I missed out? Obviously there were, there were some fighters that I had, to, I had to kind of cut 
it's hard to narrow it down to just five from all the weight divisions in boxing in just 12 months. Uh, but that's what I did and that's my personal choice. But do let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree and why you agree or disagree. Um, don't forget to like this video if you've liked it. And please do subscribe if you do get the chance. The channel's building really, really well. And uh, the more people we have on board, the better. Um, I do prediction videos. I do reviews. And I did my first ever live stream a few nights ago. So that's going to be something that's going to be happening on Odd Fight Nights. So the only way you're going to know when I go live is to hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.